This is Tally Arbiter. It's a free, open source project designed to give you an inexpensive way to have tally lights for all of your cameras and devices in your next production. There are plenty of DIY and custom tally solutions out there. What sets Tally Arbiter apart is its ability to monitor and arbitrate tally information from multiple sources simultaneously. This makes it a great solution if you have a camera that may be put on air from multiple switchers at the same time. Your operator can still use a single tally light. Tally Arbiter supports a wide variety of tally output solutions, from viewing tally on your phone, a USB blink light, GPO output, contact closure relays, and even tally over Arduino ESP8266 or ESP32 microcontrollers, such as the M5 Stick C or the M5 Atom Matrix. Version 1.5 is out now, so let's check out some of the top new features. First up is the new Blackmagic Video Hub source type. Now you can set Video Hub destinations to be a preview or program bus and monitor their states directly in Tally Arbiter. It supports all Video Hub models. So let's say, for example, I have a destination called Livestream Server. Anytime I route my camera to that destination, I want my tally lights to come on. So in Tally Arbiter, I will add the new source. I'll choose Video Hub, and I'll need the IP address of the router. I'll give it a name. I'm going to call this Video Hub. And I'm going to choose which destinations to monitor as program. In this case, I'm going to choose Destination 57, because that matches what I have here in my software for Blackmagic. And I'll hit Save. Now I'm going to add a new device. Let's call this Camera 1. I'll add a new device source. I'll choose my video hub and I'll type in the video hub source address. In this case it will be the source number on the router where I have it plugged in. Once that's done, Tally Arbiter will begin monitoring the status of the video hub for all destination routing changes. If there's a match, the tally status will update. I'll make a routing change now to show you. Once I put camera 1, into this destination on the Video Hub software, Tally Arbiter will see that and mark it into program. If I change it to another source, the tally goes away. Another new source type for Tally Arbiter 1.5 is the test mode. This is what it sounds like. It just cycles through the various tally states for each configured device in Tally Arbiter. It will do this until you disable test mode by either turning it off with this button or deleting the source. This is helpful if you want to test out all your tally lights without making a change on your video switcher in order to do so. There are three updates to the device source mapping area. One, multiple addresses from a single source are now supported. This means if you want your camera to be in program when you use input 1 or input 5 on the same source, you can do that. Two, certain sources will now populate a drop-down list of addresses for you to choose from or you can always type one in manually. Three, device sources can now be linked on a bus-by-bus -bus basis. Let's say you choose to link the program bus for this device. By linking sources across a bus, Tally Arbiter will not consider that device to be in program unless the device is in program on all sources assigned to that device. Here's a real-world example. Let's say you have a Blackmagic A10 Mini with four cameras. The output of that mini feeds into OBS Studio. By linking the program bus, you can assign each camera to its address on the ATEM mini, and you can assign it to the ATEM seen in OBS. This way, the camera tally light will only show red when it's on air on the ATEM, and the ATEM seen in OBS is active. Tally Arbiter 1.5 includes generic TCP as an output action whenever a device enters or exits a bus. This is helpful if you want to trigger a particular piece of gear that only supports TCP messages, as opposed to the webhook or OSC actions that were already included. The producer page got an upgrade too. Now you can send messages to supported clients. This enables you to easily send quick messages to your camera operators like, Hey, zoom in Cam4! Currently the web tally client and the M5 Stick C support this new messaging function. On the Tally Client side, there are several improvements in this version as well. First up, Tally Arbiter now emulates a vMix server. 
If you've got a favorite client designed specifically for vMix, you can use it with Tally Arbiter. It's very simple. Tally Arbiter represents itself as a vMix source on its standard TCP port. Any Tally client designed for vMix will assume it is a vMix connection. The Tally Arbiter M5 Stick C client got a few upgrades as well. Improvements in battery life as well as official support for the M5 Stick C Plus model. And, a much requested feature, the M5 will now remember its last used device whenever it reboots or reconnects. Another new Tally option is the M5 Atom Matrix. This device is very bright, very tiny, and very easy to use with Tally Arbiter. Just download the Arduino sketch, configure the variables to match your server setup, and upload it to your device. Lastly, the companion module for Tally Arbiter got a new action as well. You can reassign listener clients on the fly through button presses. So let's say you want a tally light sitting in front of your camera shading station. With a single button press, you can send a command to your video router to route a particular camera to your shader monitor, while simultaneously reassigning that camera from Tally Arbiter to your shader's tally light. This will tell you if that camera is on air before you begin making changes. This release saw a lot more interaction from the community through GitHub issues, with feature requests and bug reports, pull requests, and other contributions. It truly is becoming a community project, which is so awesome to see. I hope you take the time to check it out for yourself. You can find out more information about Tally Arbiter on the website, tallyarbiter.com. And you can find out more information about other projects on the blog, techministry.blog.